Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over how to do a hypothesis test, testing the difference in two means. This is important for testing the effect of a treatment in an experiment. As usual, I've loaded up the Indiana 100 dataset and I have it in Stata and Excel. First, I'm going to go over how to manually do the t-test in Excel, and then we're going to look at the corresponding Stata command. Let's quickly remind ourselves of the formula for the t-statistic for this test. In the numerator, we have the estimate for the average treatment effect minus the hypothesized value. In this example, it was zero, divided by the square root of the sum of the variance divided by sample size for each group. I'm going to now enter fields for everything that we need. So we're going to need S1, S0, N1, N0, the ATE estimate, and the null. But before we get started with that, we need to figure out what exactly we're testing. I will test the hypothesis that there is no difference in the income between men and women. So first what I'm going to do is sort the data set by sex. In this data set, zero is men and one is women. S1 and S0 are the standard deviations for each of the groups. So one will be female, zero will be male. But instead we can actually take a shortcut and since we're gonna to need to square these anyway, let's find the variances. All right, so I'm gonna use the command equals var for variance and of course we're going to need dot s for sample. For the ones, I'm going to select the incomes for all of the women. And next, I'm going to do the same for the men. For the sample sizes, we just need to count up the number of men and women in the sample. So for the men, we can see that there are 48. So I'll type that in here. And for the women, there are 52. For the average treatment effect, we'll first need to calculate the average income for the women. and then subtract the average income for the men. Okay, and our null for right now will say that there is no difference in income, so that would be zero. Now, let's construct the T statistic. So first, the numerator, that's going to be the ATE minus the null divided by the square root of our first variance divided by its corresponding sample size plus the male variance divided by sample size. Close the parentheses and we'll get our t-statistic. I'm now going to jump over to Stata and do the same test using the t-test command. For the two-sample test, we'll again use t-test and then type the variable we want. But now we're going to need to use some options, specifically the by option. And we'll now specify the categorical variable that we want to use to split up the data, in this case, sex. Looking back at our Excel results, 
you can see that we did not assume that the two subsamples, the men and the women, had the same variance in their income. We calculated those separately. What this means is that in Stata, we need to tell the program that that's what we want. We want to not assume equal variance, so we type unequal. If we left that out, then we would get the hypothesis test assuming equal variances and the t-statistic would end up being different. Click enter to run this. And we can see that we get the same t-statistic, of course, the one we did in Excel was negative, but it doesn't matter. It's the absolute value that is important. This is a relatively high t-statistic that would allow us to reject at 90% confidence and 95% confidence, but not quite 99%. We can see that from the p-value right here. Now, I can also do the hypothesis test manually in Stata by using Stata to calculate these very same numbers. To do this, I'm going to use the summarize, or sum for short command. And I'll first do income if sex, which is short for if sex equals one, so female. And then I can do the same for not, which will give us the, all the men. And if I square these standard deviations, I will get these variances right here. We get our number of observations for both and the means, which we can subtract to get the ATE estimate. And then I can go ahead and, and construct the T statistic from there. Note that this would not work if your treatment groups were not zeros and ones. If it were one and two, then we would need to say some ink tote if sex double equals one and then two. But when we have zeros and ones, you can use this shortcut. Now let's suppose that I wanted to run a test where the null was not zero. So let's say that my null hypothesis is that the difference in income between men and women is negative 10,000. That is to say that we think that women make 10,000 less income than men. In Excel, once I've got all this set up, all I need to do is switch the zero to a negative 10,000, hit enter, and the T will recalculate. We can see that this hypothesis is much less likely to be rejected than our original one, since it's much closer to the ATE estimate from the data. Now, how do we do this with the t-test command in Stata? Unfortunately, I'm not aware of a quick and easy way to use a non-zero null hypothesis for this kind of test in Stata, but there is a workaround that's not too hard to do. Since we're testing whether the difference between men and women's income is 10,000, but we can only test if the difference between two things is zero, what I can do is add 10,000 to all of the women's incomes. So I'm gonna type replace income equals income plus 10,000 if sex, which is again, going to give us just the women because women have a one in this variable. When I run this, Stata tells me that 52 changes were made. And of course there are 52 women in the sample. So I'm going to now run our same test again. And what we get is the exact same T statistic that we got in Excel. I know that was a little complicated, but once you get your head around what we just did, then it's not too difficult to do. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.